One of my favorite urban dictionary words of 2020 is the idea of the COVIDiot, right? People who are idiots in how they respond to the ongoing COVID-19 situation. For the most part, it refers to people who still want to go to their large gatherings. They still want to hold a, some kind of party. People who still want to go to the beach. Or people who um, don't practice good hygiene, right? Uh, they don't wash their hands when they should. They uh, cough or sneeze without any regard to, to covering their mouth. Um, but I want to say that there's another class of covid idiots, and this one a lot of people seem to behave this way. And it's almost politically incorrect to call these people idiots, uh, because apparently th th uh, money seems to be more important than health in this country. A lot of times I'll be at the grocery store and uh, you got somebody who's really paranoid, right? Multiple layers of masks. They, they, they think that they need 10 feet of social distancing, right? Six feet just doesn't cut it anymore. And um, they seem to want to police other people as well, right? I have a habit of going out when I'm sleep deprived sometimes so after an all night of writing computer games. And people think I'm sick, right? They think I got COVID-19 because I'm yawning while at the grocery store. And then I look at their shopping cart and it's full of just about every everything possible to destroy your immune system, right? They're, they have sodas, they have white bread, they have fried foods, they have processed foods full of MSG, full of food colorings. And to top it off, oftentimes these people will head to the to the back of the store where there's a pharmacy and pick up all sorts of prescription drugs, right? Certainly antidepressants because they're so worried about catching COVID-19. Um, and um, top it off, they'll pull into the, we have a Starbucks inside the uh, grocery store and load up on caffeine and what else? And you can tell they've never gotten any exercise, right? Maybe they're, they're, they're in their electric scooter and uh, obviously they, they're frantically wiping down their scooter because they're worried about any sort of virus and yet they're poisoning their immune system making themselves a vector for all sorts of disease right not just COVID-19 but the COVID-20 that's coming down right next year right uh, they're turning themselves into a, into a, a vector right of, of disease and um, all they seem to and, and quite frankly, they're causing the lockdowns to be even more drastic than they really should be, right? I'm not saying we shouldn't practice some good hygiene or whatnot, but because of the existence of these covid idiots, we have to practice it more to accommodate the existence of some of these people with these habits, right? When COVID-19 first went down, and um, it was a lot less severe in parts of Africa, and a lot of people were swearing up and down that it was genetics, right? They didn't want to talk about their habits. It dawned on me that we have a lot of African Americans here in the United States, and they're uh, they're not getting the genetic protection that the Africans who stayed in Africa are getting, right? And then people will argue, well, African Americans are low income; they have to live with roommates over here in the United States. But you know what? Have you ever seen a slum in Africa? Well, they have plenty of roommates over there, right? Um, but then people don't want to think about their eating habits, right? They, they, they want to blame somebody else who came within five feet of them at the grocery store, right? They want to blame that other people didn't put on a mask or they went to a party or whatnot, right? It's really convenient to, uh, to keep, for, uh, at, the, at the industry level, it's very convenient to keep selling junk food and just tell people to stay six feet apart, right? Uh, junk food industry doesn't have to worry about losing business because they can't go within six feet of one another, they're essential, right? Um, it's not convenient, right? It's very convenient to tell uh, other people that they have to do all these things, right? Uh, you're a covid uh for, for thinking that you can poison yourself and make yourself a vector of disease and not be part of the problem, right? Um, it's not very popular to say it, but I'm going to say you're a covid -iot. The other class of covid I see are people who are... Uh, dwelling on all the things they can't do, right? And missing out on all the stuff that, that COVID-19 has, has brought them, right? So um, for me personally, I, I'm glad that I had this opportunity to correct some eating habits now that I don't have to interact with other people. I've been making videos all year long. Um, it's, it's a lot easier to correct lifestyle habits when you don't have to come across coworkers who might tempt you, right, um, to, to, to go back to your old ways. And I want to solidify some of these habits. 
before I return to the office. Um, it may uh, during this time I wrote a number of computer games. I, I explored new hobbies. I've learned a lot of things online. I've been watching a lot of um, informative videos and. Um, a lot of people want to dwell on the fact that they can't go to the graduation, the parties, the, to the beach, on vacation, and oh yeah, I learned a few things online. It's, it's like a side note, right? They, they dwell on all the negatives and barely acknowledge the positive, right? I say we should do it the other way around. Dwell on all the positive stuff. Acknowledge that, yeah, there were a few negatives, right? Oh, I didn't have toilet paper on day one of COVID-19, but I learned how to deal with that, right? And um, I, I, I really learned uh, new experiences. And um, I got to admit, I, ha I had a problem at the beginning of COVID-19. Um, I was still battling food addiction problems. And the first week of COVID-19, I actually went out to look for my favorite brand of sausages. And I, I ended up driving like an hour from store to store looking for it. And I realized I was an idiot. I was a COVID idiot for doing that. By the second month of COVID-19, I was able to tolerate not having my favorite foods. I didn't like it so much, but I was able to tolerate it. Today, I actually like it when I don't have my favorite foods and I have to explore something new. So it just goes to show, um, it, it's how you look at it. It's not what it is, right? Um, acknowledge, uh, dwell on the positive and acknowledge the negative. I mean, don't pretend it's not there. I mean, it's it's great that uh, we know what the negatives are so we know where to go, but dwell on the positive instead, right? And don't be a COVID idiot like how I was that first week of COVID-19.